This question is from 2013 AMC 12A and it's problem 14. The sequence log base 12 of 162, log base 12 of x, log base 12 of y, log base 12 of z, log base 12 of 12 of 50 is an arithmetic progression. An arithmetic progression is when you're adding the same thing each time. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 is arithmetic progression because you're adding 2 each time. Okay. So we understand what arithmetic progression is. And what do we want to find? We want to find x. And there's three variables. There's x, y, and z. And all the logs are making it confusing. And oh my gosh, how are we going to simplify this? And you may realize when something is in arithmetic progression, the common difference is the same. So in this case, 3 minus 1 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. 9 minus 7 is 2. Hey! All of them are exactly the same. Because we are adding the same thing each time, the difference of consecutive terms has to be the same. Maybe we can use that. So let's, let's try to apply it. We know log base 12 of x minus log base 12 of 162 has to equal to log base 12 of y minus log base 12 of x. I'm just subtracting the consecutive terms. So this, this one and this one, this one and this one, and so on. So let me continue is equal to log base 12 of z minus log base 12 of y, which is equal to log base 12 of 12 of 50 minus log base 12 of z. Okay, can we make something out of this? We know log base something, log base b of a minus log base b of c is equal to log base b of a divided by c. So we can indeed simplify it as log base 12 of x over 162. That's the same thing as this is equal to log base 12 of y over x, which is equal to log base 12 of z over y, which is equal to log base 12 of 1250 over z. Okay, log base 12 of x over 162 is equal to log base 12 of y over x. And since logs are one to one, that's telling you x over 162 and y over x are the same. Since for logs, when you graph it, for each value of y, there's only one corresponding value of x. If, if we plugged in x over 162 and y over x into log base 12 and got the same thing out of it, the inputs, which are x over 162 and y over x, must have been the same to begin with. So you know these two are the same. And continuing, you know z over y is also the same. 12 over 50 over z is also the same. Okay, so what can we make out of this? Hey, look at this. We just want to have x, don't we? So we want y and z's to magically disappear. And by multiplying all three of this, multiplying all three of this, that's going to happen. Because y's are going to cancel out and z's are going to cancel out. So let's multiply all three of this. That gets you y cancel out, z cancel out. You have 1250 up top and x down below. And what's this equal to in terms of x? We are, we are multiplying the, something same as x over 162 three times to itself. So this thing is equal to x over 162 times x over 162 times x over 162 or x over 162 cubed. So let's continue simplifying this, which is x cubed over 162 cubed. Moving x over to the other side gets you x to the fourth. Moving 162 cubed over to the other side gets you 1250 times 162 cubed. Okay. Can we, let's prime factorize it. So when we take fourth root, it's easy to take fourth root. 120, 1250. 125 is five cubed, and you're multiplying it by 10, which is five times two. So this thing comes out to be two times five to the fourth. 162 is same thing as 81 times two, which is two times nine squared, or two times three to the fourth. So we have 162 cubed, we have two, we have three twos, and we have four times three, 12 threes. So this thing simplifies to x to the fourth being equal to two to the fourth, five to the fourth, three to the twelfth. So what's x? Our value of x is going to be this thing raised to one fourth. One fourth of four is one, so you have just two, and same for five. And for three to the 12, 12 divided by four gets you three, so you have this. And 2 times 5 is 10, 3 cubed is 27, so our value of x is 270. So let's go back up. Our value of x is 270, so the answer is B.